Okay, hi everyone. Uh, today's speaker is Victor Torres Castillo. Uh, so he's uh, joining us from Mexico. Uh, I think that's called CIMAT, right? Is it is it the yes. correct uh, pronunciation? Okay, so uh, he's going to tell us about stable homotopy type of uh, p-local finite groups via bi-set factors. So, Victor, you can you can start when, whenever you like. Okay. Uh, thank you, Professor. Okay. Uh, Thanks everybody for coming here. I'm happy to, to be there, at least uh, virtually. Uh, well, uh, feel free to ask any question at any moment. Uh, let's start with some motivation. Uh, well, uh, given a final group G, as you know, we can recover G up to isomorphism from its classifying space, uh, BG. Since uh, the fundamental group of PG is isomorphic to G. Okay. Uh, on the other hand, the set of, of, of mod, uh, pointed homotopy classes of maps from BG to BH is, uh, can be identified with homomorphism from G to H. Or uh, the, unpoint, the unpointed version, uh, the set of unpointed homotopy classes of maps from BG to BH can be identified with representations from G to H. Uh, representation from G to H is a quotient of homomorphism from G to H, where H acts by conjugation. Okay, now uh, let's compare these uh, two subjects, algebra and topology. On the side of algebra, we have a final group G. And on the side of topology, we have the classifying space of G. Okay. Now, P locally, we can induce the fusion system of G over a C log P subgroup of G, in this case, S. And uh, we can uh, app uh, apply the P completion functor on BG to obtain the P complete classifying space of BG. Well, uh, starting from G, we can construct a BG, for instance, using the Miller construction. Um, as we said above, uh, applying the fundamental group, we can recover G. Well, from G, we can induce a fusion system uh, of course, of course uh, given a C log P subgroup of G called S, we can induce a fusion system. Now, the P completion functor is a construction that uh, is aimed at retaining only the mod P uh, information of the space, in this case, uh, BG. So, uh, P local fusion and P completion. Uh, should be connected by the Martino Pedi conjecture. Well, from the fusion system of G over S, uh, thanks to the central link, thanks to the concept of central linking system, we can construct the, the P completed classifying space of G. And uh, conversely, from the homotopy type of BGP completed, we can recover the fusion system of G up to isomorphism of uh, fusion systems. This is the easy implication of the Martino Pedi conjecture. Well, uh, let's recall the Martino Pedi conjecture proved by Oliver. Given to finite groups G and H with silo piece of groups S and S prime. The following conditions are equivalent. BGP completed and BHP completed are homotopy equivalent. This is the only homotopical condition. The other ones are completely algebraic. Let's see. Uh, the second condition is the representation from Q to G is isomorphic to representation from Q to H as out Q sets for every finite P group Q. Similarly, condition three, uh, 
only considers uh, classes of monomorphisms in representation from Q to G. Okay, but maybe the most famous equivalent condition is the last one. The function systems of G and H over the respective silo isogroups are isomorphic. Okay, as we recall, conditions two, three, and four are completely algebraic. Now, uh, we would like to turn to a stable homotopy version of that result. In this case, we need to know the notion of Bison category. Well, uh, given two final groups G and H, a uh, GH bicep X uh, is a set with a left H action and a right G action that commute. Well, uh, this is equivalent to a H times G set structure on X given this uh, condition. Um, well, it's equivalent. Uh, we can talk about a uh, morphisms between GH biceps. Okay, they are a GH equivalent maps in this sense. Of course, uh, two G uh, H biceps X and Y are isomorphic if um, only if they are isomorphic as H times J uh, G sets. Okay, uh, we can talk about transitive G H biceps using this another alternative description. Um, any trans uh, uh, sorry, can you uh, sorry, uh, can you just move one uh, slide back? Okay. Uh, 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 ah, okay, okay. Yeah, I wasn't just clear about the definition of isomorphic GH biceps. Okay, yeah, thank you. Okay. Well, any finite GH biceps. Uh, Can be decomposed as a disjoint union of transitive GH bisets. Okay, and um, two transitive bisets are isomorphic if and only if uh, these subgroups LK and LK prime are conjugate in H times J. H times G. Okay. Well. The bicep model of G and H is the Grotendi group of isomorphism classes of finite GH bicep with this joint union as addition. This is, of course, a free abelian group generated by a, the isomorphism classes of transitive GH bicep. We have an associative composition given by quotienting the action the edge action diagonally uh, well uh, and standard uh, bilinearly so we can talk about the r bicep category given a commutative ring with identity uh, sorry uh, sorry for interrupting you again if you could just one more time uh, move one slide back okay Yes, so um, this composition is in what category? So uh, just this defines a category, but maybe you are not familiar with this uh, notation because a uh, book and web works with another alternative uh, notation. Uh huh. My notation is more in the spirit of uh, Ragnar song, uh, Re. Um, okay, but uh, uh, yeah, rather I'm not really familiar with bisets, 
and bicep, uh, this all bicep uh, category and stuff. So uh, here I'm just asking what is the, okay, so what you are saying is that I can, if I have a H key, uh, HK oh, bicep okay. module at GH bicep module, then I can multiply them. That's fine, but I'm rather asking, uh, you are thinking about them as, ah, okay, so you are thinking about uh, these as morphisms in some category, right? Yes. yes okay, and then what is the category? So this is the category of what, of groups or, or something like this? Uh, well, the category has objects, finite groups. Um, uh, yes, I mean, okay. Uh, ah, okay, yes. you were just you were just about to define this uh, category. Okay, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Um, okay, thank you. In, we don't have uh, R here. We assume that R is the integers. Yes. In general, we tensor with a commutative ring with identity. Yeah, yeah, yes. Okay. Well, uh, of course, this is a category. For instance, the identity in R A P G G, the double bond safe ring of G, is uh, this class. Ah, well, this class is <laughs> uh, this uh, delta of G is the diagonal of G. Yes, but more generally, we can talk about uh, the twisted diagonal given a subgroup of G, uh, K, um, phi from a um, uh, morphism from K to H, we denote there it's isomorphism class, simple by this, K comma phi, where this is the twist diagonal. Okay, uh, well, we have uh, some bisect submodels The left free born side uh, model of G and H has uh, this basis, the classes of K and phi. The by free bison model, the, they are uh, denoted with this uh, triangle. The basis is consists of the same as above, but now the phi is now a monomorphism. Now P local version of the first submodel, the P local left free by set model. Now uh, we consider only the K subgroups that are uh, P groups. At last, the P local by free by set model. Now again, K is a P group and phi is a monomorphism. An example, uh, let's write uh, the cyclic group, group of order two this way. We have a re recall that if we don't write R, we are supposing that R is the uh, integers. Okay, we have three classes. In this case, this class corresponds to the inclusion of C2 in a sigma three. Actually, there are three inclusions from C2 to sigma three, but all that classes are the, the same because the twisted diagonal are conjugate. Okay, they induce the same class in the left free bonsai model. Now the by free bonsai model only consider these uh, two classes because they are monomorphisms. Yeah. Okay, so uh, the bonsai category is the entire Bonsai category. 
the other guys are the left free bonsite, uh, left free bicep category. Sorry, uh, bonsai category is uh, another name for the bicep category. And this is uh, the by free bicep category. Okay. With uh, again, with the objects, the groups, and morphism given by the definition of given above. Okay. Uh, well, in general, we can talk about a uh, S bicep functors, where, uh, where S is an admissible class. Uh, we don't need to know about uh, this general definition of admissible classes, but uh, they are R linear, covariant, or contravariant functors from the bicep, uh, S bicep category to uh, the category of R models. Yes, in this case, we are considering only these three classes. The classes, uh, the class of all bicep models, the, okay, the class of only left free bonsai models, and the class of uh, right free bonsai models. Okay. In the second case, we call uh, these bicep functors. Uh, we refer to them as deflation functors. And the last case, we call them uh, global matic functors. Uh, well, bicep functors have uh, some operations in general. They have uh, induction, restriction, deflation, inflation, and isolation. Okay. The name deflation functor is because uh, they don't have uh, inflation. Global matic functors. Have, uh, have only uh, induction, restriction, and isolation. And bicep functors have uh, of all the operations. Dually, there is a, a notion of inflation functors. We won't use them, but it's the dual version of deflation functors. Okay, for example, the group commodity functor is a contravariant deflation functor, or dually is a covariant inflation functor. Maybe you are more familiar with uh, inflation functors. Okay, uh, now assuming that R is integers, the functor that sets uh, G to the suspension spectrum of BG with a, a disjoint point, and uh, sends this uh, morphism from G to H to this composition, the stable transfer from G to K and the stable map induced from phi. Okay. This is a covariant deflation functor or a contravariant inflation functor. Ooh, well, uh, another last example, the representation. Mm -hmm. Can I ask you a question? Sure. So your terminology of deflation functor doesn't mean there's a deflation map, I guess, right? Because normally group cohomology doesn't have deflation map. It has an inflation map, right? So yes. in your example, you're saying group cohomology is a deflation functor. So you're naming them in a different way. The deflation functor doesn't mean that it has a deflation, I guess, right? Yes, commonly uh, we refer to group cohomology functor as a covariant inflation functor. Yes, but inflation functor are the, the dual version of inflation functor. So uh, built as contravariant functors, we, we can uh, see them as deflation functors in in this sense. Yes. Because, yeah, because you took the morphisms in the opposite bisets, right? Is that the reason the terminology switches? That you took the morphisms in this category as uh, from uh, H to K as KH bisets instead of HK bisets. Yes. 
the names changes because of that or yes oh yes commonly we can view cohomology group cohomology functor as a covariant inflation functor if we are more familiar with this uh, terminology uh, okay inflation functor means that they don't have the deflation that's what you mean mm -hmm. yeah okay. but, yeah yes but in this case uh, we prefer to view uh, the group homology functor as a contravariant deflation functor. Uh, okay. Yes. Just uh, against the uh, intuition, that's why. Uh, ah, okay. sure. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Uh, well, uh, last example the representation re functor is a bicep functor. I mean, uh, using the admissible class of all uh, bicep models. Uh, of course, we need uh, that the characteristic of f is zero in order to define a deflation. Yes, because uh, if the characteristic of f is not zero, there is no deflation. Okay. Well, in general, the category of S spices functor is abelian and uh, has enough projectives. The simple objects are parameterized by uh, this uh, theorem by Hook and Web. Ah, but before, uh, we recall this, uh, this definition. A seat is a pair uh, H, B, where H is a finite group and B is a simple R out H uh, model. There is a notion of isomorphic uh, seats. Okay, we need an isomorphism alpha from h to h prime and uh, an r -lin linear isomorphism f from b to b prime such that uh, this condition is satisfied okay so uh, a theorem by uh, book and web web ha uh, has a, a version for inflation functors and global Mackey functors but book generalized it for any S bicep functors. Yes. Okay, the isomorphism classes of simple S bicep functors corresponds bijectively with the set of homoph uh, isomorphism classes of seats, H, A, B. Okay, when R is a field F, and more generally, if R is a discrete valuation ring. Okay. Any simple bicep functor has a projective cover. This projective cover is in the composable and in the composable projective functor. Okay. So the representable functor that is projective has a decomposition in terms of these projective covers of SHB. And uh, the multiplicity of these uh, projective covers are uh, this portion. We can appreciate that the multiplicity depends on the evaluation of the simple bicep functors on a uh, G. But the denominator depends only on B and H. But uh, this guy depends on G. In particular, when S is the left free uh, bonsai category, F is the cyclic, uh, the cyclic ring with the, the ring with P elements, and G is a P group S. This the composition corresponds to a complete stable splitting of the classify the P completed. Suspension spectrum of uh, BS with uh, the joint point. Okay. Okay. There is a version of the Seagull conjecture given by Ragnarsson. Uh, 
Okay. Given two final groups, G and H, there is an isomorphism that uh, sends the class of P phi. Remember that P is a subgroup of G, a P subgroup of G. Okay. And this map sends uh, this class to this composition. Okay. This is a stable transfer, P completed and the, the stable map induced by phi be completed again. Okay. And it's an isomorphism of a CP modules. CP is the p adding integers. This, uh, this guy has a structure of CP module. And uh, we can reduce, we can uh, apply reduction to forget the, the join points. Uh, in this case, we will have to reduce the bonsai model and obtain another uh, isomorphism of CP models. Uh, maybe we are more familiar with this, this one. Uh, for instance, we recall that uh, the left free bonsai model of C2 and sigma 3 with coefficients in CP uh, is also, can be identified with uh, three copies of C2, okay? But two of these copies corresponds to constant uh, homomorphism. Then the only guy that survives is only one copy of C2. Okay. This is a description of the set of homotopy classes of BC2 and B sigma 3 to complete it. We don't need to, com uh, to, do uh, to complete BC2 because this is already too complete. Okay. Well, there is a problem. Uh, the identity, the, the class G comma identity, before uh, the identity of the double bonsai ring of G, the left free double bonsai ring, it is not in the P local double bonsai ring, the, the P local left free, uh, left free model of G and G, unless G is a P group, of course. But if R is a P local ring, this is the meaning of P local ring, uh, any, every integer in R prime to P is invertible. For instance, the P adding integer the P localized integers and FP. Uh, Ragnarsson uh, showed that this high has an identity. Uh, I call it uh, one PG. This, uh, uh, this is a pre precursor of something that we will call later uh, the characteristic idempotent of a function system but it's not exactly the same. Okay. It's only a, a precursor. Okay, it, similarly for the left free uh, P local double bonds and ring of, of G. Okay. Now let's recall this theorem by Martino Pridi. Given two finite groups G and H, the following are uh, equivalent. equivalent. The p-completed classifying spectrum of G and the p-completed classifying spectrum of H are homotopy equivalent. If and only if fp-sen of QG is isomorphic to fp-sen of QH as fp out Q models. Where uh, what is sen of QG is uh, the set of classes in a uh, inch from Q to G, such that the image of F is P-centric. Uh, ah, what is P-centric? Uh, uh, Q, okay. Q subgroup of G is P-centric if the center, the center of Q is a silo P subgroup of the centralizer of Q on in G. Okay. That's the meaning of P-centric. 
Okay. Sorry to interrupt you again. So uh, the previous result by Oliver um, worked for uh, non-stable. Uh, yes. It wasn't uh, for spectral, right? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, Victor, can uh, I also ask you a question? Sure. In two slides before, you used the notation B tilde to refer to homotopy class of maps, just the one after this one, the slide after this one. Maybe one more. Yeah, B tilde in this corollary, but you didn't change anything else. So what does B tilde means and what is the right-hand side? Uh, Sorry, sorry, I don't, I didn't hear. So in this corollary, you have B tilde on the left side. And on the right side, you have the same thing, isn't it? No, because I forget the... the uh, this is unpointed, non-pointed case. Yes, so yes, yes. What's B tilde then? Could you... Ex Did we define it earlier? I missed. Uh, do you want to explain uh, how we induce this isomorphism? No, what is the definition of B tilde? The tilde, the B? Ah, the, tilde. Yeah. ah okay. It's a portion of the this guy, the left uh -huh. recursive model. Uh, we uh, portion over all the classes uh, of this form. A subgroup of G and a constant homomorphism. To the constant, I see. Yes, we, we forget that uh, classes. Okay, okay, sorry. So I have also a question here. So now I'm confused as well. So here in this theorem of Ragnarsson, uh, okay, we have, so what we are doing is we are taking G, adding a fixed point, uh, sorry, um, uh, base points to it. Then we are taking a spectrum, a suspension spectrum of it, and then we are P complete this spectrum, right? Yes. Okay, so in the next slide, yes, so uh, by oh. definition, by definition, BG uh, is formed in the same way, right? So you firstly need to add a base point and then take a suspension spectrum because in order to form a suspension spectrum, you need to have a, a, a based space. Right, so now what is the difference then? Oh, okay. Uh, Unless you are taking as a base point, uh, I don't know, identity element. Well, in, in this case, you can consider a BG, a P completed. In this case, this notation means that you suspend the space BG. Yes. Then you p complete the the spectrum. There is a notion of p completed. Uh, no, there is a notion of p completion for a spectra. And, uh, yes, 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 yes. So I ah okay. So um, in this case, so in one case you are first the p completing uh, B G, and then you are taking suspension spectrum, and in the other you are doing the other way around, right? Yes, yes. Okay. Uh, alternatively, we can first uh, p complete uh, the classifying space of G. Then you can suspend to obtain a, spec uh, a spectrum. And yes. both constructions are equivalent. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. Okay, well, uh, in this theorem, the well, the most interesting implication is two implies one. Their authors uh, use the Seagal conjecture, not the Seagal conjecture, uh, uh, the version by the Ragnarsson version, but another one and other tools. Okay, one implies two is technical. Okay, uh, uh, using the Ragnarsson version of the Seagal conjecture, 
we can obtain that implication, uh, condition one is equivalent to this, uh, another condition, one uh, star. G is isomorphic to H in this uh, P local bonsite category. The left free P local bonsite category. Okay, so we wanted to prove two implies one star, but we obtain uh, something uh, apparently stronger. Condition two implies that G and H is isomorphic. Uh, are isomorphic in this uh, P local by free uh, Bonsai category. Okay, this category is uh, finer that, or is uh, yeah, is smaller than this category, the left free Bonsai category. That's why I say uh, apparently this is stronger than one, but the Martino P theorem, okay, guarantees that finally uh, they all are equivalent. Okay, uh, so we can improve Martino P theorem with this uh, additional condition. Okay, again, uh, only the first condition is homotopical and the other three conditions are completely algebraic. Well, uh, let's concentrate in the equivalence of conditions two and three. Okay, the corollary is the following. Well, uh, this result can be uh, also stated for CP instead of FP. So the this P local bonsai categories, the left free bonsai category and the by free bonsai category, P locally have the same isomorphism classes for uh, these two rings, the p adding integers and fp. Okay, well, uh, Ohar uh, is a former student of Robert Bosch, and he asked this question by uh, considering the ring of p localized integers. We obtain uh, an answer for these two other rings. Well, let's recall the definition of global Mackie Fontor. A global Mackie Fontor is cohomological if the, the class of a, K, a subgroup of G, together with the inclusion of K, is uh, the index of K in G times the identity. Okay, why the name cohomological? Uh, this is because the cohomology, the group cohomology functor is a uh, cohomological. Yes, that's why the, the name. Of course, uh, the group cohomology functor can be seen as uh, a global market functor too. But uh, this definition of cohomological uh, can be extended to inflation functors and for deflation functors too. But we don't need them for our results. Well, this proposition is uh, essentially due to uh, Tebnas and Webb. Okay. Any simple global multi functors parameterized by uh, a pair QB, where Q is a P group, is cohomological and the same for the, its projective cover, PQB. Okay. Tebnas and Webb uh, show this for uh, multi functors for a fixed group G. But the argument uh, follows almost the same for global market funders. Okay. Uh, we are going to study the quasi representable global market funders. They are not representable. Okay. But we do have a, a, a Joneda lemma, but for cohomological global Mackie functors, only for them, okay? Uh, we can refer to it as a cohomological, sorry, Joneda lemma. 
we can refer to this proposition as the cohomological Joneda lemma in, in this context. Okay. Uh, for its proof, we uh, use the coefficient of this identity. Uh, the identity, the existence of the identity was uh, shown by Ragnarsson. Okay. And uh, Ragnarsson also obtained its coefficients. Okay. We use these coefficients to uh, prove this proposition. Okay. Well, if S is a silo piece of group of G, okay, this quasi representable functor induced by G is a retract of uh, this uh, actual representable global Mackey functor. This is uh, properly a representable global Mackey functor. Because uh, S is a P group, we don't need to add the P uh, sub index. There is no need for that. Now uh, we recall this decomposition. Okay, in this case, the first QB satisfy that Q is isomorphic to a subgroup of S. So Q must be a P group. Now, uh, using the Kruschmidt theorem, we can obtain a decomposition of this quasi representable global Mackey functor induced by G. Okay, now uh, NQB satisfy this equation. But uh, in this case, we recall that SQB by Ternas web is cohomological since Q is a P group. Thus, uh, we have this formula for the multiplicity of PQB in uh, this quasi-representable global Mackey function. Uh, well, Web has a formula for uh, the evaluation of SQB in G. Uh, well, in this case, Q is not necessary to be a P group, can be any, any group in general. But, uh, well, given B, uh, FP out uh, Q model. Uh, BL is uh, B, but viewed as a F P out L model. Via a chosen isomorphism, alpha from Q to L is an isomorphism. So uh, any group, any subgroup of G containing N, L acts on PL by conjugation. So a web a web's formula uh, gives a decomposition of this evaluation as a direct sum of the relative traces of BL okay, with respect to the normalizer of L in G and L running over representatives of subgroups of G taken up to G conjugation. Uh, well, we can use the formula, for instance, to obtain a, to compute the dimension of this evaluation. And uh, remember that uh, we have this symmetric group with uh, sigma p. Then uh, the cyclic group, group of p elements is a p silo subgroup of sigma p. So we have this computation. Now, uh, we find convenient to have another description of the evaluation using the web formula, of course. Well, uh, the relative trace is only this guy, WL, BL, where WL is the sum of conjugations of X, where X is a representative of the normalizer of L. Okay. 
but uh, WL, WUL is a multiple of the norm of the outer automorphism group of L induced by conjugation of G. Okay, here is where we recall the notion of p centric group. Remember, L is a p centric, is p centric in G if the center of L is a silo p subgroup of the centralizer of L in G. So uh, if L is not p centric, this guy is zero. So the only ones that survive are uh, those L that are p centric in G. So alternatively, we can obtain uh, we obtain this uh, another formula for the evaluation of lower magic functors on uh, in G. So uh, essentially, my proposition is this this one. If FPC FPC of QG is isomorphic to FPC to Q of Q and H as FP out Q models, then G and H are isomorphic in this P local by free bicycle uh, category. Okay. The idea is to show that these two uh, quasi representable global magic functors are isomorphic. This is possible because uh, the hypothesis implies that G and H have isomorphic silo piece of groups. We can assume that without loss of generality, we can assume that S is a silo piece of group of G and H at the same time. Okay, but we recall the decomposition in terms of projective covers of the simple global Mackie functors of this uh, quasi-representable global Mackie functor. So they are isomorphic if and only if the, the, okay, the multiplicities are equal, but uh, the multiplicity depends on the evaluation of the simple global Mackie functors. Okay, so uh, we can use this formula to prove uh, that the hypothesis implies uh, this last equation. Yes. I have uh, three minutes. Okay. Okay, uh, now let's move to function systems. Given a finite P group S and a function system F over S, this is a category with objects, the subgroups of S. And the morphism sets satisfies uh, this condition. They are all uh, monomorphisms. Okay, and the morphisms from P to Q contain the conjugations of P to Q induced by elements of S. Okay, and um, every morphism in F can be factored as an isomorphism in F followed by an inclusion. The archetypal example of uh, saturated fusion systems is the fusion system of G over a silo piece of group of uh, G called uh, S. Okay, uh, saturated fusion systems. Uh, have other axioms, but they are supposed to, to mimic the silo theorems. Okay, okay. given a uh, F uh, fusion system, we say that the X in M of S is F stable if uh, this equation is satisfied for every P subgroup of S and every morphism in F from P to S, okay? I mean, the, the meaning is that the class P pi acts uh, just like uh, the class P 
Puma inclusion. Okay. The set of F stable elements is denoted N of uh, F. It's a submodel of NS. Well, if F is saturated, there exists a characteristic bisect. Uh, well, such that uh, X is uh, F stable if and only if uh, X is invariant under the action of uh, omega. Okay. Such an element is called a characteristic element of F or when? Well, a characteristic bisect of F. For instance, the class of G, G uh, view as a S, comma S bicep is a characteristic element of F. Okay. From, uh, well, uh, the title of the talk was about P-local finite groups. Okay. A P-local finite group is a function system together with a space. This space when exists is called the classifying space of the function system F the saturated function system of F. By the time of Broto, Levy, and Oliver, okay, uh, that's, that was the definition of P local finite group. But later, uh, I don't remember who, but he showed that saturated function system and P local finite groups are uh, equivalent, are the same. Okay. But even before that, from a characteristic element, omega, we can construct the classifying spectrum of F. This is given by the mapping telescope. Okay. This is a, a motopical limit. And the classifying spectrum of F uh, is uh, equivalent to uh, the suspension spectrum of the classifying space of F. Okay. Well, similarly to the group case, the final group case, uh, BF is P complete as a spectrum. And if F is the function system of G over S, we have uh, this thing. The classifying spectrum of F is equivalent to the classifying spectrum of G P completed. We have uh, more generally a uh, decomposition of the. There is a notion of uh, bicep functors on function system, saturated function system. So this guy is a representable bicep functor, representable global monkey functor in this case and can be decomposed in terms of uh, the projected covers of the simple bicep funders. Okay. So we have a formula for the multiplicity similar to the case of finite groups, but generalizing them. Indeed, when F is the function system of G, this guy is uh, cohomological. And we have uh, that these formulas coincide. Okay. Well, uh, the web formula can be generalized for saturated function systems with uh, this proposition. Okay. Now, in this case, uh, WL bar is the sum of elements. Uh, of the automorphism group, out, uh, outer automorphism group of L uh, induced by uh, elements in the function systems. Okay, but, uh, okay, uh, L, L is F centric in this case, similarly to the finite group case where L is supposed to be P centric. In this case, L is F-centric. 
For instance, we can use this proposition to compute the multiplicity. Uh, well, sorry, I should have written dimension of S in RB1, where RB1 is the first risk virtual exotic fusion system. E is the extra special group of order seven cube and exponent seven. Um, this is uh, N six uh, zero. This is a simple model in GL two two seven. Well, uh, thanks. Okay, thank you. Uh, thank you, Victor. Uh, so, any any questions for Victor? Uh, I do have two. But uh, yeah, I hope that I will not have um, noise in the background. So uh, I have two questions. So firstly, um, about uh, biset functors and this general idea of biset stuff. So uh, I just realized that uh, when you are considering equivariant operats, uh, they are actually G cross sigma n they consist of G cross uh, sigma and equivalent spaces. So do you know anything about, uh, you know, interaction of this theory with equivalent operats? Of equivalent operats? Mm. Oh, well, uh, no, not yet, actually. This, uh, at the moment, they, there is no connection in the literature between uh, Fusion systems and okay. operas. But for instance, global Mach functors are a, a generalization of Mach functors for a fixed group G. Then, in some sense, uh, biased functors are a, a big brother of Mach Mach functors. Yes. Yeah, so I, I, this was my second question. So. Uh, is there a connection between global Mackey factors and global homotopy theory as developed by Schweder, for example? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, global homotopy theory is the study of uh, inflation functors, the, the dual of deflation functors uh, okay. in uh, homotopy, stable homotopy theory. Yes, because uh, when we have global when we have multi functors for a fixed group G, we are we are fixing a group G, right? But yes. with inflation functors, we don't need to fix any group. The, but there is a compatibility between all the all the groups, so you don't, okay. you don't have to, to fix a, a group. Um, well, the actions of inflation functors means that. Uh, uh, okay, the actions means that there is a compatibility between any Mackie functor that you can construct from, from them. Yes. Okay, thank you. Okay, any other questions for Victor? I have a question too, but I'm not sure if I missed this at some point. You had a theorem with uh, four equivalent conditions uh, where uh, Martina Predi stable equivalence is same as uh, the Burnside uh, functor uh, in the Burnside ring. Maybe you can show me that theorem, the main theorem, I guess, one of the uh, four conditions that are equivalent. The main theorem? Uh... Yeah, yeah, this one. So these four conditions equivalent for two finite groups C and H that the stable P completed classifying spaces are homotopy equivalent. G and H are equivalent inside FPB and so on. So then you introduce the P local finite groups and then the, you had results, similar one, but do you have the analogous theorem to this one in terms of two local finite group, something uh, along the lines that the P completion equivalent if there is some. I don't yes, know. Uh, there is a generalization of this theorem 
but uh, well, not this exactly this theorem, but mm -hmm. uh, we can show that conditions one and four adapted to saturated fossil systems are equivalent. Okay. I mean that you have two saturated fossil systems, F1 and mm -hmm. F2. The classifying spectrum of F1 and the classifying spectrum of F2 are homotopy equivalent if and only if FP sen of QF1 isomorphic to FP sen QF2 as FP out Q models. But there is no uh, analogous version of two con condition two or condition three for saturated fossil systems, at least not so far. <laughs> and so you don't know if they will be equivalent or not? Or do you have counterexamples that they're not equivalent? Uh, for, um, no, I guess they could be still true. Uh, we, we can talk about a two fusion system isomorphic in a by set category defined for fusion systems. But uh, at least three implies, uh, two implies three for saturated function systems seems to be stronger, but I don't have an example yet. Okay, I see. And how do you interpret the four one for diffusion systems? So the, you, you want the uh, injective maps into the F-centric subgroups? The image is F-centric, yes. So, the image of, uh, yes, of the uh, F, F of Q is in, uh, in S, yes, as a subgroup of S is uh, F-centric, yes. Okay. Thank you, thank you. Any other questions? Okay, so then let's thank uh, Victor. Well, thank you, Victor.